Hi, my name is Danielle Dewash. I'm a family nurse practitioner and also the owner of Dewash Medical Clinic. Today's video is going to be about pheochromocytoma. The reason why I'm going to be talking about pheochromocytoma, a young woman, she's in her 40s and she had lost her life because she's been diagnosed with the wrong diagnosis. They diagnosed her with anxiety when she was in her 30s. And then they diagnosed her with premenopausal when she was in her 40s and then put her on the wrong medications. Finally, when they discovered what causing her having rapid heart rates, high blood pressures, and breaking down into sweats, it was too late. She was diagnosed with theopomocytoma. It was too late, she developed cancer, and then they couldn't operate her, so she died. Pheochromocytomas are rare. Only 20,000 to 50,000 cases every year. But my question is, is it really rare? Or is it because people have been misdiagnosed? It affects women and women equally. People ages 20 to 50s can affect children also about 10%. What are the signs and symptoms? Like I said, rapid heart rates, high blood pressures, and sweat. You might find that you are having some kind of anxiety attack or panic attack. That's why they tend to say that, okay, you anxious probably because of your job, so we need to put you on Xanax. But it may not be the case. Now you can see why they put you on blood pressure and then they don't go further to diagnose you appropriately because of the sunny symptoms. What can be done to treat that woman to prevent her from losing her life? Well, based on the clinical presentations, they could have do a urine test called metanephrines or they can check the metanephrines from a blood test. What it does, it checks to see how your body breaking down fatty calamines and then releasing metanephrines. And that can give a clue to do a CT scan or MRI to localize a tumor. And they found it, if it's small enough, they can do laparoscopic surgery to remove the tumor without cutting you wide open. But if the tumors, they're big, they have to cut you open, then they're gonna remove the tumor. And that could have saved her life. So I wanted to bring the awareness of pheochromocytoma. So people, if you are exhibiting some kind of sinus symptoms of rapid heart rate, high blood pressures, and then you break them down into sweats, so you don't listen to nobody who will tell you that because you are anxious, because that you are in menopause, that's why you're having this. I'm wondering what do they say to men who are having that problem? Because they cannot say that they are menopausal. Probably said that, well, it's in your head, or because you are stressed, because of your job, and everything. So they want to further. If they do some lab work, on the lab work, they might find out that your blood glucose might be high, your cholesterol might be high, your calcium might be high, and your potassium might be low. So that only, that's a clue, plus the clinical presentations for me to go further to see why you are having that kind of sign and symptoms. Not to say that it's in your head. Visit the Wash Medical Clinic, go to their website, book an appointment to see what I can do if you are having that kind of same signing symptoms. And also, remember to follow Jesus. Follow me, but most importantly, follow Jesus. That's all I have for you for today. See you next time. Bye-bye now.